so awesome. I am so happy to be here. It's not the typical sentiment when visiting a hospital. How are you? Good but for Robert and Nadine Hyde, it's for good reason. Wonderful. I have my life back. They are visiting the medical team who helped save Robert's life from a crippling bacterial infection. My bathroom was like my home because that's, that's where I spent all my time. I vomited every time I ate. I had, to, within seconds after I would put food down, if I kept it down, within seconds I would have, a, have to go diarrhea. This is the disease that I never even heard of, and yet I'm so sick. It's called Clostridium difficile, or C. diff. The spores are so contagious they can live on surfaces for months and can easily be spread from person to person. So it means that we couldn't have relations, we couldn't kiss, we couldn't do anything. No social life. No, no social, no life, social life. I I couldn't have friends. The cost of antibiotics rising with each new relapse. One medication, called vancomycin, cost $400 for only a two-week supply. And they just keep giving it to you, dose after dose after dose. Robert was dying potentially one of tens of thousands of Americans who die of C. diff each year. Dr. Fadi Haddad is an infectious disease specialist at Sharp Grossmont Hospital. In the past, we used to do cut the colon uh, surgically and uh, treat it that way in cases of severe C. diff. Now there's an option of FMT. FMT stands for fecal microbiota transplantation. And then we have syringes that are full of replacement poop. Human stool from a healthy donor is transplanted into the colon of a sick patient. You know, it's somewhere the volume's about 10 ounces of poop. You have good bacteria, and if you can give it to me, it can help me. It's like spreading seed on a bank. By using our own good bacteria, rather than using a drug to target the bad bacteria, we can use the bacteria to fight bacteria. Dr. Michael Lejeune, also from Sharp Grossmont, gave Robert the transplant. This is a natural, a powerful tool that has more than 90% chance of curing the disease. Within 15 minutes, I noticed, I told Nadine, I said, the burning's gone. Sorry. I said, the burning is gone. And I said, the nausea is gone. So 15 minutes was all it took. There are different ways to receive a fecal microbiota transplant, including a colonoscopy or an enema, or even a triple-coated pill form. No matter how it is given, it is still considered an investigational new drug. In 2013, the FDA issued strict new guidelines on FMT. Human stool, when used to prevent or treat disease, is defined as a drug and can only be used as medicine in FDA-approved trials. A compassionate exception was later made for C. diff patients not responding to standard therapy because of its effectiveness. What the FDA calls enforcement discretion gave Robert his life back. Two days, I had a normal bowel movement. Most people would say, well, that's no big deal. But when you have diarrhea for four years, for four years it is a big deal to be normal again. And I can eat anything now. But what if FMT can be used more broadly for conditions other than C. diff? Most of my pain's up here. Joel Spreckman and others believe FMT can help their condition. You know, I, I run a support group here in San Diego, and um, they're hurting. They're lost. They're confused. They don't know what to do next. We'll meet him tomorrow and find out the lengths that he and others will go to get a fecal transplant. Maya Trabulsi, KPBS News.